Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Anchor Soundcore Liberty Air Fully Wireless Earbuds. Uh, I can't wait to get into this with you guys, and we'll go over all the specifications that they uh, say that it can do, and then I'll compare what they say to what I believe that it can really do, and whether or not you should spend the money for these over some of the competitor. The presentation of the box is great. It's ready for the shelf. Soundcore by Anchor uh, really does a great job of presenting the product to you. Uh, and their product is actually in a lot of stores nowadays. So that's really cool. And on the, you get this magnetic display here. And I have used this and I just tried to put it back as best as I could. We'll just pop that right on out like so. This exposes the earbuds themselves in its own charging case. And we'll go over that in a little bit. And underneath the paperwork. And also importantly, all the earbud sizes. Normally I have good luck with the standard sizes that uh, comes on them on earbuds most of the time. So I normally rarely never have to uh, change them out for other sizes. But looking on the back of this, you get Bluetooth 5, which is awesome because it has great connectivity over the Bluetooth 4. But don't worry, it's backwards compatible, so you, you can use it on any other device too. You get dual mic uplink noise reduction, which is nice because there's two microphones on the end of this thing, uh, which is great. And it utilizes those both two mics to have conversations with noise reduction. And it sounds great on phone calls. You get up to five hours of playtime on the earbuds on a single charge. Now what this means, so let's break this down for you. You actually get 20 hours, but I would knock a couple hours off. Uh, you actually get probably a true uh, 18, 18 and a half hours, uh, 20 hours is at 50% volume, but here's the case itself. Looks just like that right there. And you see the lights there giving you charging indication on the case itself, but you'll charge it via the micro USB on the bottom, which in turn will charge the earbuds inside and then charge the external charging case that will charge your earbuds over and over again. So basically you have the five hours that will be charged on the earbuds themselves. And then you have 15 hours of charging that the case can do. So that equals 20 hours of 50% volume. In the initial pairing, it's super easy to do. And these are touch sensitive on each earbuds. So that's really cool. We'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, once you take them out, they automatically turn on and your phone will automatically connect to them, which is great. You get IPX5 water resistance, which is cool. You get passive noise cancellation, which is also very nice. So uh, these are kind of loaded out and you do get the micro USB charging cable with it as well, along with those uh, earbud uh, different sizes there. So what exactly is this graphene that it's coated in? Apparently some scientists have found a way to improve speakers eliminating movement altogether using graphene it takes quite a bit of energy to move speakers membranes and currently that's why tiny speakers are only powered by the audio signals from headphone cable sound so awful so most of the time smaller speakers uh, to an audio file doesn't sound that great because it needs a lot of movement the membranes are thin and they wear out but the cool thing is this new uh, thin layer of graphene is strong and incredibly light material made from a single atomic layer of pure carbon assembled in a honey honeycomb pattern, which will make the speakers more durable and they really don't have to move to produce the sound. So graphene for speakers uh, this size that's going to go in your low piece sound great and anchor soundcore is going to do this for you at like half the price of the competition so right now off the bat my ears are actually perking up to what this is going to sound like the case itself is branded on top soundcore and you got a little lid here when you raise that you see your battery level close that down underneath there's your charging port and then inside here's your headsets um, one thing you want to do, one thing you make sure you want to do is the first time you use it and you take these out, it has plastic covers over this and your contacts for charging are right there on the end. You can see those contacts, um, they're covered. So if you're going to charge your case right off the bat and you think these are charging too, they're not, you got to take that plastic off great thing about this case is it uses some magnets here to draw this down into the charging dock itself so 
kind of sits in there and they won't dump out if 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 you accidentally open the top of the case you have to actually physically kind of pull them out because they seat themselves magnetically which is nice and some headsets kind of use a spring-loaded mechanism to keep them down some don't use any kind of mechanism except for the lid itself to hold it down to charge to make contact with the contacts but these actually use magnets so i do like that touch a lot basically you just pull them out pop them in it automatically paired with my phone instantly i can hear pairing going on on both sides and we're good okay so here are the earbuds themselves and basically it's super simple process you just stick them in and that's it and this is exactly what they look like here's your microphones there it does a fantastic job of picking up your voice and they actually stay in really really well i was worried i was concerned that they would just fall out like those apple uh, ear pods do uh, but these actually seal off and stay in better and they actually do a good job of sealing once you get the right size earbuds selected so if you're wondering what they look like when you're walking around this is what they look like not bad before i forget the warranty is 18 months on these and anchor really does honor the warranties i've had to uh, make some claims in the past a long time ago with some charging issues that they had on those little curly cords that, for your car adapters and stuff those would uh, wear thin and stuff like that but they would just send stuff out and not even question so i'm totally a firm believer in their warranty service and here are all the touch controls so i don't forget i'm going to be looking at them on my phone on the right side it's double tap for play and pause double tap on the right side to answer calls and hang up long press for two seconds to skip forward on the right side on the left side long press for two seconds to go back a track on the right side long press for two seconds to reject a call and on the left side double tap for voice assistance so if you use siri or google you can double tap that and you can use your voice assistant when you're on the go that's another great function i use that one so i use the google assistant and really i just use answering calls and the track stuff so kind of i guess i do use it all but you know once you have it in for a day boom 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 you'll be finger tapping like crazy and be good at it and of course when you're not using them you just pop them right back in and they magnetically go down you snap it closed Shows you real quick where you're at on your battery charging for the case. Put this right in your pocket. It doesn't take up hardly any space whatsoever. And we're carrying less things in our pocket nowadays, so this doesn't really get in the way of anything. So how do they sound music-wise listening to them? The bass and everything is great. It does have this different sound, and I think that's from that graphene. This is the first set that I have know of or paid attention to that has that graphene coating on those speakers or utilizes that technique for sound and it kind of has this weird like you get the perfect clarity from the voice and then you get this boom pumping clean well-rounded bass that doesn't like um i guess uh crackle or go a little bit too far or expand itself too much with the bass like you know some things just sound too loose or something like that when you're listening to it this maintains a tight um strong bond it feels like with the bass i know this is getting stupid to try to explain bass but i'm doing the best i can but it, it has a good healthy bass to it that seems to uh, stay intact the bass sound does while also exhibiting great clarity on the vocal side so you kind of do hear all the points that i want to hear in, in music and i really don't have a problem with it someone might say if you like natural tone stuff you might say it might be a little too bassy or too odd on that bassy side but I, I don't mind it at all i rather enjoy it and i like the clarity of the vocal stuff too so i'm a big fan of the the battery time i, I don't mind that you just pop them in and it'll recharge the head the earbuds so really like you know saying five hours per charge on the earbuds most of the time you're going to throw them in there for a little bit and they'll top off and they'll keep topping themselves off 
So you'll probably get 18 hours out of them. That's a really long time for fully wireless earbuds. And both sides stays in sync pretty well. You do have a slight, tiny delay in the mouth movement when you're watching a video. So it might hinder you a little bit on the gaming side of mobile gaming. And um, it doesn't bother me enough to get on my nerves while I'm watching videos and stuff like that. So, so uh, that's okay. It's just slightly, slightly off, like a millisecond off which I would have assumed would have been matched up a little bit better with the Bluetooth 5.0, but it's probably because it's dual fully wireless. So there's going to be some kind of slight delay in there. And I don't really know if it can, I have another pair and it's a little delay in it too. It's going to be very difficult, I think, for the, to, to narrow down, to nail down a fully flawless, no delay with, with two separate wireless earbuds like that. So you're gonna always have it with those, I think. So let's round this up real quick. I like everything about it. I like uh, the, the amount of play time that you get out of them, the, the mobility out of them, how small they are, how many earbuds they are for you. You're gonna get a guaranteed comfort. I like how minimalist they look. I like the black shiny look of them. I like the touch controls. I like the music. I think I might've said that already. Uh, but what do I not like? Oh, and also the 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 uh, the the lip moving and the sync is slightly off, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm not really going to ding it too bad on that because I think that's always going to exist in those. <sighs> but what do I not like? There's got to be something, right? Oh, and it's IPX rated too, so that's nice. Water resistant, so. Uh, if you're going to work out and stuff like that, you're probably going to want to get the kind that go into the ears and kind of lock in completely because I don't think this could withstand like running and really working out. I think you, they would drop out even though they still really great for going from A to B, stuff like that. I think you'll be fine with that kind of thing. So the one thing I would really ding them on is the fact that whenever you got the earbuds in, it kind of seals up and you kind of have that noise cancellation, that natural noise cancellation just from the seal of your ears. I wish they would have utilized the Soundcore app, and that is available with some of their speakers and stuff. So I wish that the Soundcore app could be compatible with these earbuds so that you can actually turn the microphone on and you can adjust that volume of how much music you hear versus how much is going on around you so that you can kind of be safe and you can also communicate with people while still having them in or at least hear your name spoken to you and acknowledge that. There's a lot of... Uh, uh, ear fully wireless earbuds that have apps like that where you can listen to the ambient noise around you while listening to your music and it's just a safety thing if you're commuting if you're subwaying and all that kind of stuff you might want to turn that on if, if, if you had it available and i think they kind of missed a, an awesome opportunity to be able to utilize their soundcore app with these earbuds and that's the only thing i would ding them on for the price they're half the price of the competition as far as sound wise, that's comparable to the sound. They're half the price right off the bat. Um, sort of equal battery time, maybe five hours longer battery time with these two than the competition. I mean, Anchor is really finessing the market and really going, grabbing, grabbing them up by the collar of the competition and going, psh, psh, psh. this is what you could do. Psh, psh, psh. But instead you want to charge like double the price. So I'm a huge fan of Soundcore products and they really never let me down whenever you look at the quality that you get for the money. I'm not saying they're the best in the world at all. I'm just saying quality for the money. You're really getting a good bang for, for, for your buck and I highly recommend them. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified on the next really cool electronic product that I got to review for you. And uh, I do recommend these Soundcore Liberty Airs. They're awesome. See ya.